snow for the first time since 1967. Indiana, the focus of your Gatorade game leaders. Just the second time in program history that they could possibly be 6-0. Now, that 67 team opened with six straight wins, finished 9-2, and two, went to the Rose Bowl loss to USC. The 1910 squad you see on this list, they won five in a row before losing a 3-0 classic to Illinois at the old Jordan Field in Bloomington. You guys remember that one? That was a defensive I missed that struggle. One. I missed that one, Coach. 3 oh, nothing, some 114 <laughs> years ago. Um, we can talk all we want about Kurt Signetti's bravado. Folks out there, outside of the Big Ten, are still talking about what he said preseason. All. We've gotten past that, I think, because now we're watching Indiana. And, Jerry, we're just watching a football team that seems to get it. They're talented. They're fundamentally solid. They're not beating themselves. Even when they turned it over against Maryland, the defense comes on the field. Doesn't give up any points after giving up right. the ball four different times. Both sides of the ball contributing here. Special teams, too. Yeah, complete team, no doubt. And, and, and if you look at it, Northwestern's not playing very well. So are the, are, is the team too confident? You know, they look. it's hard to say Indiana's going into a conference game being overconfident, right? The reason they won't is if you look at Signetti's record, he's been here before. The players haven't been here before. But well, he's, no, a lot of them have because they were winning. Right, that's James true. That, that's true. But but he's used to this, right? Because he's won everywhere he's gone. So he, he's he, as a head coach, he has been in a situation where his team might get the big head. So he knows what it looks like. He knows what it smells like, and he addresses it because he's addressed it before. Well, yeah. he said multiple times already this year, not demeaning the opponent, but we really haven't played a very hard schedule. But, he's uh, not saying that to us. He's saying that to his team through us to hear, make sure they hear him. Even when they beat UCLA in the Rose Bowl. Yeah. 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 I, I think those turnovers were probably a positive for Sig. Uh, you know, we used to always say when we had, would have those long runs of winning games like he's having, that you, sometimes you, you need a little bit of a crisis to get your team's attention, you know, and, and, and particularly play a Northwestern team, you know, that, that they should beat, that they're better than. Uh, and, and those turnovers, that's going to give those guys something to get in that meeting room and say, here, here, here. Even though there's, you know, they overcame it, you're always looking for something like that to coach. And they just, when they had those big leads, guys, they were playing their second team and their third team. The depth on this team, too, it's amazing that uh, uh, they, they just keep coming at you and aggressively. That's the thing that I'm all, I always watch things from a defensive perspective, and I'm watching them play, and they had a 10 point 15 point lead and they're coming out play action and that ball is going down the field and this is after Curtis oh. Rourke throws not one oh. two bad interceptions in the first quarter they didn't back off they had an in-game interview with Kurt Signetti he said we're not going to change play calling this guy's go. been here done that we have complete and total faith in him as for Northwestern they made a quarterback change a couple of weeks ago going from Mike Wright to Jack Lausch and it's a little bit like Michigan in the sense that Lausch is not really a guy that's going to test you downfield and in a game like this, Indiana keeps pace. They're on pace scoring, what, about 45 points per game? You just, it's hard to see a scenario where Northwestern's going to score enough points offensively to keep up with what Indiana can do. Well, Washington is a talented defense. I, I watched the, the Northwestern offense against the Washington defense. I mean, Northwestern had no chance. I mean, they couldn't throw the ball. They couldn't run the ball. I'm still of the opinion that Mike Wright is the better quarterback yep. for, for Northwestern. He can do more things. He, he's had experience at Vanderbilt. He's had experience at Mississippi State. The day we were at practice, I came away saying, I think he's one of the better quarterbacks in the conference. But things went sideways at Duke down on the goal line. And from that point on, uh, I, I, I get a kick out of the fact that he threw one pick and almost threw two. I'm not sure that's an official stat when you almost throw something. No, okay. there's no INT, right. A INT. Because the protection stat. wasn't right or the route wasn't right and, or so on. But yeah. I, I think they're really struggling on offense, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling Cam Porter in this week, and I'm saying, Cam, get ready. You're going to get the ball 40 times. He's healthy. You know? He's got to be healthy. He's, he's yeah. got to, I mean, and we got we to gotta run the ball this week, guys, somehow, some way. And we've said this probably three times so far in the show. You know, some of these teams, that might be their best offense and defense is to, to, to run the football and, and try to control the game a little bit. I think you're, you're into the same scenario right here with Indiana. And I'll say this again for the hundredth time. There's five teams that have more talented than the rest of the conference. And the rest of the conference is so evenly matched that it's going to come down to coaching and quarterback play. 
and that's with this Northwestern Indiana game. And right now, Kurt Zignetti doing a good job. Curtis Rourke's one of the best quarterbacks in the Big Ten all year long. It's a hot ticket, by the way, right, Dave? Hot yeah. ticket in Evanston Saturday. Yeah, we, I found some, but we got uh, you know, You know, it was an interesting they talked about during the game. Four, 14 of the 19 uh, starters on this team, uh, even though they might come from uh, Miami of Ohio or they come from, from James from, Madison. James Madison all conference players yep. so they were given you know that Kirk Signetti is bringing guys in here that are winners that have won regardless of the level of play and and you're seeing that I yeah think. and I don't want to hear anymore like oh there are good players at James Madison these guys are just good players like Aiden Fisher is just a good solid football player right and we've talked about this on tailgate you know this, it, this this hire by Scott uh, at Indiana you know this opens up the door for more people like Signetti, older guys that can bring yep. players yeah. with them. And it's yeah, give Scott Dolson some credit. Scott Out Dolson. of the box kind of hire for Absolutely. the Indiana AD paying dividends so far. Hey, 